Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December, and Eternal Life. December 18th, at the Marriage Supper. Blessed are they which are called unto the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. Revelation 19, verse 9. In both the Old and New Testament, the marriage relation is employed to represent the tender and sacred union that exists between Christ and his people. To the mind of Jesus, the gladness of the wedding festivities pointed forward to the rejoicing of that day when he shall bring home his bride to the Father's house, and the redeemed with the Redeemer shall sit down to the marriage supper of the Lamb. He says, As the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, but thou shalt be called my delight for the Lord delighteth in thee. He will rejoice over thee with joy, he will rest in his love, he will joy over thee with singing. When the vision of the heavenly things was granted to John the Apostle, he wrote, I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Jesus saw in every soul one to whom must be given the call to his kingdom. Having received the kingdom, he will come in his glory as King of kings and Lord of lords for the redemption of his people who are to sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at his table in his kingdom to partake of the marriage supper of the Lamb, an eternal life, December 18th.